Okay, that just scared a few people. Hello again, boys and girls. This is your old Uncle Alan or Dive Blow Frog 79. And today is video response to Canadian Prepper. I did an earlier video saying the 10 top Prepper channel. Is, I kind of messed them up with her, him and the uh, Prepper Princess. Sorry about that guy. Uh, let's give a big hand to Canadian Prepper. 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 You know, when you're going half blind, you have to use one of these. Uh, Canadian Prepper. Uh, this is video response to his video on YouTube. Uh, why they can't stand you. Uh, it's a really good video. And I'm not high tech. I'm low tech. Kind of kind of half blind. Kind of nuts. And poor as hell. So his stuff's really good. You have to see his channel. And it's very informative, a little long sometimes, but it's worth the money, so go watch his channel. And I wish YouTube would stop picking on him. He's a nice prepper. He's a nice guy. You should support him either by Patreon or any other forms of mean. If you, um, he has a mailbox. I don't think he has a mailbox. Um, send him money and stuff, okay? Uh, anyway, uh, why they can't stand you. It's basically, people don't understand why you're a prepper. Well, Uncle Alan hurts a few things from other preppers, and they should say I should do prepper stuff. I'm not a prepper, I'm a survivalist. But they say it should be more exciting. So let's get something out of the old drawer here, magic box drawer. And I think that's exciting. Okay, take it out of the sheath. Yeah, that's really exciting. I don't know why, you know. They say hold a big knife and wave it around. Okay, I'm not doing the Allah part, but I am waving the knife around. I think this is stupid as hell. And it doesn't have any point. So anyway, back to our theory. Uh, uh, why they can't stand you. Well, I have to agree 100% with uh, Canadian Prepper. I don't know why people are so excited about this. It's a knife. Okay, I have no idea what, why they said do that. Ugh. Uncle Alan's old. He doesn't do stupid ass things like that. He prefers using notebooks. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's my notes. You can magnifying glass up. Okay. Uh, they can't stand you because you're a prepper. Don't tell them! them. Don't tell them at all. Alright? Uh, prepper's your business. Don't tell them. Tell them it's a hobby. You're doing something. Uh, refuse to talk about it. It's like Fight Club, the movie. Don't talk about it. Don't mention it. Tell them they're imagining stuff. They're nuts. Uh, play down your preps. Tell them you're doing something for the church or your, or your, what they call it. I can't remember. But play down your preps. Don't tell anybody about your business. Screw them. Uh, hide your supplies. Now, I tell a lot of people about this. You should hide your supplies and your uh, caches. You want to hide them away from people. Prepare to budget. You want to budget. Oh, wait. That's not budget. That's bug out. Sorry. <laughs> Prepare to bug out. Uh, when your friends are running around looking at their uh, smartphones or cell phones, trying to figure things out, push them aside and prepare to bug out. Turn your home into a fortress, all right? You want to get cameras, bars, Lexan panels, the works, all right? These people are nuts. They don't care about you or your family or anybody else. All they really care is themselves. And if they took the time to wake up and know what they're doing, they will turn their house into a fortress like I did. Prepare to fight those same um, people who think you're 
They can't stand you and they think you're nuts. It's like Noah. They're trying to bang into the ark. Let us in, Noah. We didn't believe it. We didn't help you. Let us in. Let us in. Well, I guess that's why the reason why my other pepper friends are telling me wave this. Prepare to fight. Kill all those uh, sca uh, whatever sca uh, scurvies or scabbies. Scabby scurvies. Yeah. Again, this is tiring. You ever try wait? Waving one of these things around? Okay, prepare to fight. That means all hands available, spears, bow and arrows, uh, shields, shotguns, rifles, assault rifles, whatever. And I'll probably get tagged by YouTube because I said the bad word. Okay, and I think they're nuts. Uh, another reason is get out of the big city move to a smaller town or city. Okay, the big metropolitan areas, move out of them. I'm trying to keep this under eight minutes, so move out of those big areas. San Francisco, lose all hope. LA, the world's stupidest place of people. Next to it, New York and the New York to Washington metropolitan route. That's a really bad place to live at. And I don't think nobody in there, well, you got a lot of people over there. So move away from these huge metropolitan centers. It's not going to be doing good for you. Let me explain this. Pompeii, St. Tropez or something, and the Caribbean, back in the early part of the 19th or is it 19th century or 20th century? One of those centuries, uh, people put this beautiful uh, tropical city and they got blew up by a volcano. Uh, talk about really stupid people. And the other one is Pompeii. Big trading city, big tourist destination. It was wonderful. They will give you gold coin, free food, wonderful vacation spot. Then what happened? Shit hit the fan. Venuvius blew up, and boom, the biggest city in the old world died. You know, there's other cities and stuff, but people don't learn that. They're kind of stupid, especially rich people and the elites. You see a lot of dead elite people. Okay, I got to keep this short, so I'll catch you later. Thank you to uh, Canadian Prepper for all his work, and bye. Let's see. Okay, boys and girls. I'm going to find that stupid button. Okay, there it is.